for the fan in the back, and you already know who that is, so we're not going to talk about him, but we're going to talk about this guy. Oh, yeah. Man, get, get out of here, man. You want to talk about no him? Um, well, found that big hunk of chunk of plastic at Walmart. Let me get the lighting here. There we go. Found him at a Target, actually. Went to Target, walked in, I wasn't expecting much, but I went back there and guess what I found? Found the big hunk itself. I like it. I like it a lot. I got me. He is huge. Side by side comparison. <laughs> he is huge. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. He's like, whoa. It's not even. It's not even that. He's just way overgrown. They made him like way big. Like I'm surprised he came out this huge. But his uh, his upper body does that. And his mouth is open and goes, oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, but. Instead of all the gap in here, but I really like this figure a lot. Uh, Y'all should try Target. Target is where I got my leader. Or should I say leaders. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> and blackout. Dwarfs him. This is blackout. Yeah. Dwarfs him. But we're going to show him in a separate video. Yeah, but Target has uh, Transformers, la uh, Transformers last night. Wish we still have to get the Crosshairs and cro uh, Cogman. But uh, first things first, what you want to do is come to these knees. Put down these, uh, these spikes, whatever. Then come down, ratchet that down, and ratchet that up. Pull that back to get some space. What you do is you ratchet this down. See, it's got that knee joint right there. And you got to make sure it clicks in. There you go. Hard to click. And then rotate at the direct. Uh, we got to flip these heels right here. There you go. Click. That one don't click, but you rotate at the ankle. Uh -huh. And then you come up here. D peg that. D peg that. And then come under here. And see there's a clipping right here. This will all come together and there's a clip right here that will clip into that. See the clip, clippy clip. Alright. Then you pull these down. They'll come down. I mean, did it the first. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to break them now. Alright. So we'll just hold it like that for now. Uh, I think that's how we do it, right? Yep. And well, I think they come together. That's what I'm thinking. I've had I haven't really made haven't really transformed these guys at all. So all right, yeah. So I had it right the first time. And just push that down. Click that in. Push this plate down and click that in and peg it all together. There we go. Pull the uh, skirt. Make sure everything lines up. Mm. Alright. We're just going to wait for the skirt. Because it don't want to function right now. But then pull this back flat, butt flat down. Rotate. Then grab this bottom and top jaw and spread it like Donkey Kong did. Rotate that up. And these are going to lift this up just slightly. And rip out that fist. And stretch that out. Then rotate this all around. And eventually you'll be able to hit it. Huh. It won't come down as right and snugly like before. Why aren't you coming down right? There you go. Okay. Something going on here. Ah, uh, wait. I think I might know what the problem is. And it ain't. There we go. Now it's pegged in. There way we can just... Yeah, there we go. There you go. There that goes. There that goes. 
Now we gotta get to this junk. But then what we wanna do is grab this top head and re in it back just like that. Then rotate the fist forward, separate the little T-Rex arms, you know, got that little T-Rex syndrome. Rotate the little hands backwards and you got one arm all done. Oh, here we go. Rotate this around. Uh, it's twisted. Articulation wise. It goes in and out for some odd reason. I like that though. But, um, what you want to do is you grab the hand or grab this thing. You want to rotate it. It becomes the ball. Then you want to 180. There is that. Then all of a sudden come up here. Grab this. Make sure everything's in place. Then peg it all together. You got the second arm done. Then come up in here. Rip his chest out. Bam. And then peg it all together. And horn up. And he's ready to take on Prime. <laughs> I had to put him way back there because he is huge, like I said. But uh, Starscream, I'll show him a separate video. Because y'all be surprised what happened to him. But till then. Bam! There's the big man himself. And uh, where is he? There's that grim loco loco. Alright, here we go. Compared to a Voyager. Much beefier, much better than I suppose, but I love that his mode. I, if I had any choice, I would get rid of my Voyager, but I don't get rid of my one of my toys. If I, I don't think it was toys, but customs. But till then, sorry, I'm just transforming this Voyager real quick so we can get some space in here to show off. Rotate the arm down, get that out of the way, put that plate there, then. Rotate everything out. And then come up to the head, separate it. <clears throat> Bam. I think Donkey Kong did that too. No, he just ripped the mouth in half, yeah. But till then, pull it all up down. Rotate. Okay, and I compare to him to him. I gotta admit, this is a lot better. I'm getting close in on that noggin. Look at that noggin. Can I get some light on here? There we go. Torch on. There we go. Oh, forgot this stand don't have the uh, light mobility. Mm. We'll just do it like this. All right, here we go. Look at that noggin. That's the best face sculpt we have had. And all oh, Transformers Age of Extinction Grimlock. Look how much details on this guy. He's got that green sharpie thing. He's got red eyes. If you can see that in there. His eyes are painted red on each side. I mean, look how big the noggins are. There's two heads on this guy. The first time when I was transforming him, I could not figure out for the how to save my life how to get him in dino mode. I had to look at the instructions one time. Alright, one time one time <laughs> but um i really love this figure it was what uh, i spent the total at target uh buying both of them it was like a hundred and ten dollars for both of these guys I, i'd had i had to bankrupt myself it was either that or nothing i had to i don't care <laughs> i love it <laughs> oh yeah i forgot to flip out the uh the spike on the arm yeah it looks like a jaw. Like I wish they would have made this like right in here, so it made this jaw. But I love it. I don't care. I, it's the best Grimlock we've gotten since. So, see what Hasbro and Takara and Katara Tomy can do together when they come together. They can make amazing things happen. Uh, which one's this? There it is. Uh, yeah, but he comes with this huge background. I can't even get it. I'm I'm backed up to Grimlock right now because how big it is. Look at that. That's a lot. <laughs> I put movie from Age of Extinction on. <laughs> it's like, oh, Stinger. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having a blast. <laughs> uh, I'll show that one in a separate video. But, um, 
Starscream had a little couple things done to him. Uh, I'll show him in my next video, which come out probably tonight after this one. But, Studio Series Bumblebee has got a couple of things for you. I'm not gonna, I'll give you a sneak peek of the other battle. You ready? Bam. That's it. That's all you're getting. Till then, this is TF Custom saying, keep collecting. Keep going what you're doing. Keep making money to make these things. And buy me. Personally. Just buy me. No blackout. Me. Me. <laughs> Alright. I'll catch y'all in the next video.